Hey, what's up everyone? So I've had a couple of questions over the uh, Edelbrock plenum and throttle body on here on the car and also had a couple of questions about how the Holly's installed on the car and a couple of guys wanted to see what those things look like. So I'm going to do a quick video over those two things. So starting off with the Edelbrock plenum elbow, uh, I'm using a, a one inch spacer here to clear the fuel rail. I'm using the stock throttle position sensor. I just got longer bolts and you can see there's a small gap right here but the inside of this sensor engages fine on the throttle body so there's not an issue there. Also to get this thing to work I had to use a low car throttle cable as you can see the end of it here running back there and then into the firewall and connected to the pedal. So I'll put the, uh, the part number of that in the description and then I'll see if I can find one that actually comes with, uh, this is uh, like a, car a carburetor linkage here because the AccuFab 90mm comes with a ball here that you can put into three different places on the throttle body. You can put it here where I've got the spring you can put it back there, or you can put it right there. And that spot worked out perfect with the the supplied bracket that comes with the Edelbrock elbow. So, pretty simple. It, work, it works well. Um, and that's uh, really all it takes to make this elbow work. Like I said in the previous video, I'm not running a, an IAC, an intake air control valve. And the car is running fine without it. Um, so, no issues there. All right, moving on. A couple of guys that had the questions about how the Holly is mounted in the car. So what I chose to do was mount the ECU in the glove compartment. There, as you can see, the ECU sits right there in the glove compartment. There's still room in here to put stuff, even though I don't really have a need to put much in there anymore. You can kind of see up in here. It's kind of hard to get the phone in there, but there's the ECU up under the dash. You can see the top of the ECU there and the wiring bundles coming off of it. So I ran those bundles up here to the hole in the firewall that uh, where the AC uh, system used to come out at up there. And then I made a block off plate for this area right here. And my map sensor is actually supposed to be right there, but it's hanging down right here. So I'll go to the front and I'll show you guys how it comes out on the firewall. All right, so I'm up here at the uh, firewall. And as you can see, that's where the harness comes out of the firewall right there. And uh, the Holly harness is plug and play, so you have uh, the main harness that comes out. You have a, uh, a wire, the dark wire right here for the wide, that's the wide band, wide band wire. And then you've got the main harness that comes out and it plugs into your coil harness and your injector harness, which is kind of tucked down back there out of the way. You can see one of the plugs right next to the, the Y for the fuel lines. Uh, I try to tuck the cool harness and the uh, and the fuel injector harnesses as best I can. So I run those inside of the fuel rails on the inside portion of the fuel rails there as you can see. And then I run the plugs out to the cools and the injectors and it cleans the valve covers up. It just makes it for an all around nicer look in the engine bay. So, and then right here you can see, you can see the wide band, wide band wire here coming all the way to the wide band sensor in the down pipe. So that's it for the Holly in the engine bay. And then I'm also running the Holly digital dash. It's a seven inch touchscreen. If you're going to run the Holly, I, I say go ahead and and buy this. It's a lot better than the three and a half inch screen they sell. Um, 
You guys, I have to excuse the car. I don't have the center console in right now. I, I've got a plate that goes on the center console that the shifter mounts on. I'll show you guys later. Or doesn't mount on, but it mounts mounts through, and it looks really clean. But I got to get a longer shift cable because the shift cable is too short to move the shifter back far enough. So I'm waiting on that. And uh, also, as you can see, the car is up on jack stands already. And the transmission is out of it. Transmission is fine. Um, the issue is, is that the torque converter is too tight for the car. So I'm sending it back off to Circle D. They're gonna, they're gonna take a look at it. They're gonna take a look at the data log I took and they're gonna tune the converter to the car. And hopefully when I get it back, it's gonna be spot on. So that's all I've got for this video. Um, I'm working on more content for you guys. So just be patient and uh, I'll talk to y'all later.